good tribe it's your girl Clyla destiny and today i'm gonna be showing you guys how i achieved this cute little quick makeup look so make sure you guys like subscribe comment below smash that notification button so that you can know when i'm dropping another video and make sure you guys also subscribe to zen destiny bam put it right there see you guys in a bit ready here we go to wash my face I already did a face um, routine video what how I wash my face um, so I'm just gonna moisturize a little bit so I'm using this Casamigos shot glass to mix my my little face moisture that I'm gonna do today because it's little and I only need like a tiny tiny bit so I'm taking a little bit of just some coconut oil okay so I just put like a couple drops of coconut oil that's probably even way too much um, and I'll probably just rub it on my skin after I rub it on my face because so I'm gonna take a couple drops of this vitamin E oil probably about like four or five drops this is, um, a face moisturizer vitamin E oil right here and then I'm gonna add a couple drops of this rose hip seed oil as well these are just so good for the face I will drop right here to do all the wonderful things that um, these oils do for your face and for your skin and same thing I'm just gonna put like four or five drops so I'm just gonna show you guys that like one two three Okay, we're getting three. We're getting three drops in there. But before I moisturize, I'm gonna put some witch hazel on a little thing and put that on my face as well. Okay, so I couldn't find my witch hazel. So instead of using witch hazel, I'm gonna use tea tree oil. Oops, my camera's falling. Tea tree oil also acts as a toner. It's essentially similar to what witch hazel does, although they do have somewhat different somewhat different properties I grabbed an empty one hold on same before I have a lot of oil. I have like a box of oil so sometimes I just grab the thing up saying thing be empty and I don't even know I'm gonna add some of this tea tree oil to my little face mix I'm, I'm only gonna put a couple drops I already put a couple in there I'm gonna put one two drops in there like that and because it's gonna complement my sunshine lime face bar I'm gonna add a couple just like two drops of lime just so I have that smell to just like wake me up and be like it's time to create it's time to make some magic it's time to do something awesome it's time to be great it's time to be excellent sunshine lime essential oils are very strong so if you don't dilute them you can like mess yourself up all right I'm just gonna mix it together like this boom 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 right in my little shot glass my little Casamigo shot glass you feel me all over just a couple drops you don't need a lot a lot goes a lot a little goes a long way you just need to dab 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 and you see how much I still have left over in here and woo, you see the shine coming through okay, confessions right I wasn't really um, moisturizing my face well after um, washing it and so the other day I met this woman who I'm gonna introduce you to her product in this video um, and she was telling me that it's very important that after we wash our face especially if we're gonna be wearing makeup often I try not to wear makeup I really am NOT a makeup type person but I am an artist so I have to wear makeup a lot uh. and so she was telling me that it's very important that wearing makeup, you're constantly washing your face, you're doing all these things, you're stripping oils and all this stuff from your face, so it's very important that we have a moisturizing routine. Okay, so the first thing I like to do is my eyebrows. Eyebrows first. 
I'm gonna take a little bit of one of these little cotton balls and I'm just gonna wipe some of that um, oil off from around my eyebrows. I use the Bare Fruit Hair Growth Oil. Also, on my, I take a little bit and I'm gonna show you right now. I'm not gonna do it on my eyebrows right now, but I'm gonna do it on my lashes. I like to just take this. This is the Hair Growth Oil, right? And I'm gonna take it. I'm just gonna drop a little bit on my finger like that. Y'all saw that? Drop, boom. A little bit on my finger. Now I wanna be careful because I don't want this to get into my eyes, right? So I just do like that and I just rub it on my lashes. Woo! And like I said, be careful. You can just rub it literally on the hair. If you don't feel comfortable putting it on the actual lashes, you can rub it on the hair. I try to rub it a little bit on the skin, like on top, so that the follicles get that moisture. So I like to start with my eyebrows and I'm gonna try to do this in the camera and not in the mirror, the mirror's over here. Yeah. So I try to do a line under the bottom and as you can see, my eyebrows look raggedy right now. We're in the middle of a pandemic. I can't even, actually even prior to the pandemic, I was penny pinching. So I was cutting so much stuff out of like my spending. And so one of the things I cut was eyebrows. But let me show you, I don't pluck my eyebrows because Virginia's not here. So my best friend's not here. She's the one who plucked my eyebrows. I ain't finna mess them up. Cause once you mess them up, that's it. I definitely, anyways, definitely just wrote on myself with my eyebrow pencil. So, I go underneath the bottom like this. <laughs> We're taking that line under and up to create our art. I just make a line up like that. <laughs> We're gonna bring that line all the way over on the bottom and pretty much go ahead and do the same thing on the top. I'm using Maybelline Unstoppable. I'm giving y'all the best I can give y'all. Maybe if I turn this way, I can. After you create your outline, you're gonna wanna go ahead and fill those bad boys in. Use really light strokes and go in the direction of the hair like you're kinda creating mini hair follicles. And it depends on how light or dark you want a baby. Fill them in. And then, what, 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 what? What the real treat is. Shalara Smith, and she's a makeup artist and a financial educator, okay? My purpose is to make life more beautiful for others through my talent and knowledge. Shalara made me a custom foundation color. Do you guys understand? Do you understand? Ladies, I know you understand. But I have a really hard time finding my foundation color because what Shalera taught me is that I have olive undertones in my skin. I have more of a yellow undertone and a green olive undertone. So she literally added green to my foundation and a whole bunch of other super dope stuff um, and I'm gonna have to ask her again exactly what she did because I have really big pores around here and she added some other things to this foundation that's really gonna help my specific skin type and match my specific skin color it's all about the melanin baby it's all about the melanin baby we gonna outline these bad boys with some concealer to make them crispy. I gotta organize my makeup stuff, y'all. This is ridiculous. I take a brush like this. Usually I would use a smaller one that's a little bit smaller and I just go in and I come down like this. So you're gonna wanna blend that concealer all the way down over your eyelids, really tracing that line underneath. Careful not to smudge it, but to give it that highlight that you want to make those eyebrows pop. See that? So you see it gives it a nice, you see the difference between this side and that side just by adding that little line on the bottom. I like to put the concealer on my hand so that like I I squeeze it out of here, I put it on my on my hand like that, and then I 
dip just the tip in here because it's just too much when it comes straight out the, the bottle and I don't want it to be like everywhere, right? All right, so then you're gonna go in and do the same thing on top. You're gonna blend that concealer all the way out. Being careful not to smudge your lines, but giving it that nice highlight around the edges. Go ahead and do the same thing on the other side. And look at those eyebrows! Because I'm doing a simple face beat, I'm not gonna put a lot of eyeshadow or none of that on today. I'm just chilling. I just really wanted to use this foundation. Is it up? Like that a little bit till it comes out. And I'll just put it under my eye like this. This is, you see these little dark circles I have under my eye? That's because I don't be sleeping right. So these little dark circles that come under my eye, easy fix. You take a little concealer, put them under your eye like this. They put it under your eye. I'm not gonna do a crazy contour today, but I'll give my nose a little love action. You feel me? Cause I can't. Then essentially it's just the same thing with the eyebrows. You're gonna wanna go in there and blend all of that out. So it's definitely, it's definitely time for me to give all my makeup brushes a really good scrub, but I'm opening my chocolate and goodness. Since there's already some on the top, I'm just gonna use what's on the top. She told me a little bit goes a long way. I'm just relaying the message. So I'm gonna just dip my brush in this, just the tips of my, um, my foundation brush. And I literally feel like the water! I put too much! Woo! Blending, honey, blending. Not right over my eyelids as well. Hey guys! So this is the finished look that we have. It came, I love, I love, I love, I love, I love, I love, I love everything that um, this foundation is doing for my skin right now. As you guys can see, there's still like a glow. It came out a little bit more, no, it's pretty matte. I was gonna say it came out a little dewy, but it's pretty matte. And I just added, what I did off camera was added just a little bit of mascara, some lip gloss, this is a lipstick and lip gloss. I mix, I mix everything together, y'all. I'm a mixer, I like to mix stuff, okay? Um, but this lipstick is Kaor and some random lip gloss that I probably got from the dollar store that I mixed together. And, I, and the lip gloss has like a little of a, um, Wineish red maroon tint and I use the lip gloss for everything so it probably has other colors mixed in there too but I just like the way it makes my lips feel so that's that this is the foundation my custom foundation made by Shalera Smith so make sure you guys uh, hit her up thank you guys for watching make sure you like subscribe comment below ladies show me how you do your eyebrows i would love to get some new tips and tricks especially if you have a way that can make me do any of the things faster than how i'm doing it the um foundations that have olive colors in them that you would subscribe to me to give a test out i would love for you guys to let me know below peace love and we'll be back soon tribe